Virgos, hey my lovies, I said Virgos, hey my lovies, Virgos, hey my loves, hey, hey my loves, hey, hey my loves, sing it with me one time, sing, hey my loves, hey my loves, What's going on, my love, love, lovies? Hi, Virgos. Welcome to another video. Thank you guys for all your likes, shares, subscribes, your beautiful comments. Um, and thank you so, so much for being a part of my soul tribe and our family. I appreciate you guys. So, Virgo, okay, you see it. All right, let's get into this energy, baby. What is going on? I'm feeling like ain't nothing but space and opportunity. So, what you gonna do with this, Virgo? <laughs> somebody has an opportunity for a new passionate beginning a new fresh start all right somebody's embarking on a new endeavor okay not only that this could be a blessing okay a blessed beginning um something from the divine all right this could be some type of divine interaction divine connection or divine opportunity something that could lead to something very very promising depending on where you two take it so let's get into this energy Somebody could be all in their head about you trying to figure out what's going on. I feel like somebody could have ended something maybe. Somebody could have went through an ending that was very, very tough for them. Now they have this opportunity for a new beginning. What's this? New money. Somebody could be on a paper chase right now, Virgo. I feel like you got some money coming in for sure, okay? So be an expectation of that and a new passionate endeavor. Look, you don't have to be single if you don't want to. You got options. Look, your angels are here, though. Um, temperance card. Somebody could be holding back or somebody's dealing with the sad. That's a little bit sad. Um, focusing on spilled milk. Maybe they went through a terrible breakup or some type of ending. Definitely right here. All right? And I feel like they're sad about it. Look, and they have an opportunity or they're sad about a marriage, not being able to be in a commitment. Sad about a relationship that ended. Okay? Maybe three failed attempts to make something work or to propose or be married and it didn't work in any time. They feel burdened by that. I feel like now that they met you, it's a little bit of mental conflict. And you could be in your head a little bit too about this person and what you should do and how you should move forward. But Virgo, I feel like this person is thinking about you and trying to figure out exactly what they should do or what they need to do to move forward. Also, somebody could be arguing or going back and forth with somebody about how things should be, how things should go, um, or trying to convince somebody that this is a bright opportunity when friends around them are trying to tell them that it's not. But I feel like <laughs> this person is under their own guidance, like they making their own choices and they feel happiness when they're around you. Okay, somebody could be dealing with the Leo. Somebody could found out that they were pregnant with this son illuminating this baby. I keep getting that somebody is pregnant. Y'all need to take a pregnancy test. Put it in the comments. I haven't seen it yet. Did I miss it? Who's pregnant? Look, somebody could be talking about this. Telling somebody about this new beginning or somebody is very happy after this ending and being all in their head. Somebody feels like you could bring them emotional fulfillment or you do. Um, some of you only spent a little bit of time with this person and this is how they feel. All right. But somebody here is <laughs> fighting in their corner, decide not to let things just, they don't want to let their life just spiral out of control. And they also don't want to feel trapped in a situation. So they're a, a little bit guarded. They don't want to be tied down right now. Or somebody may be in their head thinking that this may not work. Maybe they think you won't accept them. But somebody is thinking about you. Or healing after a tower moment okay we got this king of pentacles energy somebody that's a paper chaser a go-getter stable this could be a community leader um this is somebody that everybody seeks advice from somebody very um charming and abundant somebody you can count on wow <laughs> hey y'all hey okay this could be you virgo absolutely king of pentacles taurus capricorn or virgo or this could be somebody in this energy that's just very successful okay but we have wheel of fortune so a bright opportunity here i feel like the wheel is turning in your favor virgo um and it could be with a uh, gemini libra or aquarius but it's a positive move forward for somebody here if you decide to do this let's find out what's happening here somebody dealing with the aries also emperor energy somebody who is serious um, somebody who is ready to <laughs> get into something, you know, somebody, somebody that is reliable. All right. 
um but i feel like this person is healing from something all right this this person is still going through heartbreak they may be emotionally unavailable i feel like this is all them deciding whether or not they want to do this i feel like somebody actually is walking away from feeling sad all right somebody could be walking away from all these tries and they want to go on a new beginning and i feel like you sparked this person's light again i feel like you you made this person come back to life i feel like you gave this po person hope you know and made them look toward you know doing something new first they thought it wouldn't work i feel like this world has this person so discouraged not only the failed attempts or the failed relationships, it could have been three times this person tried to be with somebody, but the world has this person discouraged. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with this energy, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you so much for being a part of our reading. Thank you for bringing me here with my amazing soul tribe, my Virgos. Thank you for all you do. You don't have to be a Virgo to enjoy this channel. I do have another channel, Tarot Tea with Empress Meek, that you can enjoy if you would like. Um, there are a bunch of random messages over there. I just pull the energy and whatever comes out is what it is, okay? Um, yeah, so go check that channel out for me, guys. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, those readings will resonate with you, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit, for blocking and binding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, and anything that may be coming up against your divine will for our lives. We only draw from the energies of love, light, and spiritual wisdom and guidance from you. Thank you so much for healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits and victory in every situation. And we appreciate abundance and overflow. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's go ahead and see what's out. Look, look what's coming out. Okay. Let me see this. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, so let's get into this, Virgo. I feel like you have suitors, okay? People are seeking you out, all right? People are be becoming um, more, in shown more interest in you, not afraid to um, speak to you. I feel like your vibrations are getting higher. You know, you're feeling better about yourself. Um, somebody definitely needs to be careful here because at the bottom of the deck, we have player. But first, let's get into these cards here, all right? So somebody definitely sees you as marriage material, Virgo. Um, I hate nothing about you is here. So I feel like this person likes everything about you. They like your style. They like how you talk. They like how you walk. Okay. They like, <laughs> they like everything about you. They even like how you smell for some of y'all. And that's good. Okay. Um, then we have mystery lover, a sexy secret admirer crushing on you. They always wanted you shy, but they're ready to come forward and tell you how they feel for some of you. Okay. This person is tired of holding back. They want to seize the moment. They don't want somebody else to get you. But they've been like laying back. They they haven't been sure if you're going to accept them or embrace them. So they haven't been saying anything. They've been just <laughs> keeping an ear open, seeing when they hear from you again, seeing if they see you again. But somebody definitely is interested. We have romantic date. Ew, okay. Let me take you somewhere nice. I want to please you and show you the feelings I have for you. Somebody say yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> so I say yes indeed. Nothing but space and opportunity. What I tell you, Virgo. So what are you gonna do with this? Some of y'all are closed off the love. You're like, oh no, I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. And then some of you are like, really? Where they at? Which person? What's their sign? Okay, we're gonna get into that and see what else I already told you guys. I saw that King of Pentacles. I saw the Emperor. I saw um what else did I see? That's about it. I saw those two. All right. Oh, and we saw Leo. Um, so it could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sage could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay. Um, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some of you. All right. But we also have recharge here. So somebody needs to recharge. Maybe somebody is emotionally and physically drained, checked out, or exhausted. An energy vampire. Somebody could be feeding off your energy once again. We got this card yesterday. But I feel like somebody, um, maybe this person that you're dealing with. Remember, we saw the King of Pentacles. Um, and we saw the Ace of Pentacles. So this person could be on a paper chase um, after this money. This person could be wealthy or well off or doing really well for themselves and making a nice amount of money here. Virgo, this also could be you just being a workaholic and t killing the game out here with the coins, okay? You getting your money, bank roll, okay? Um, but that's what this could be. Then we have baby mama, baby daddy drama. So somebody's having an issue with their significant other or their 
not their significant other, but their the co-parenting situation or the other parent, the absent parent. I feel like somebody is having issues with that. Family issues, child support, custody battle. All right, so somebody could it be avoiding child support? It says countless suitors, but you are the one I see and want, okay? So Virgo, this could be you with your eye on the prize, baby, or this could be somebody seeing you as the prize like, dang, you just came along and knocked everybody out of the box. You came along and took this person's attention off of everyone. I like it a lot, but why do we have player here? All right, winter season and read between the lines, starting over. All right, so somebody could be, oh, yearning for you, baby. So I feel like this is another energy. Somebody is not giving this person any more chances. So you got one person that is serious about you, wanting to get to know you, wanting to do things right. And then you got this player in your energy, somebody that's just playing games after their own selfish needs and wants. They're not really considering your feelings at all here. So you got two people. Wow. You have to make a decision, okay? You're the one with the countless suitors, but all I know is somebody's not getting them any more chances, and I feel like it's this player energy, of course. Um, reading between the lines says you will find the answers someone will tell you without telling you, all right? And I feel like this person, this player, got the gift of gab, and they're going to be talking so much, Virgo, you're going to see right through them, and you're going to be like, Tuh. what I notice is you're not asking me anything about me personally. What I notice is you're talking a whole lot but not saying nothing okay fast talking talking and not saying anything all right yeah you you're gonna pick up on that so i feel like you're starting over you're reading between the lines with this player energy um in the winter seasons is we're moving into that season where you know, you're tired of being alone. This says, I'm tired of being alone. I want someone who knows my worth. And honestly, I feel like Spirit may have bought that in for you, but I feel like the timing may not be right, okay? I feel like somebody is still healing and still getting their self together um, after a tough breakup or something like that. Um, and Virgo, I feel like this is calling for you to be a bit understanding, um, be a be grounded, all right, and take things slow. I'm surprised that take things slow didn't come out. Um, father figure, caring, compassionate, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But somebody wants to take you on a romantic trip. It says just the two of us. Okay, Virgo. Yes, let's get into it. This is some grown-up stuff. It's a very grown-up reading, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more for this energy right here. Um, let's see. I just want to get some messages. Let's see if this person has anything to say. I want to see what this person wants to say to you. All right. I um see the four of wands. So I feel like with this marriage material, when I see the four of wands over there in my deck, I feel like this person is definitely looking at you like, hmm, this could be the one. This could be a potential, a very, very good candidate. Like somebody's looking at you like, okay, show me more. So they want to see, they want to make sure that you're not wearing a mask, right? Because that's a lot of that is going on out here and it's making everybody so defensive. Nobody really wants to open up because nobody knows who's being serious and who's playing games. And the last thing you want to do is have somebody play games with you. I feel like you've been through a lot and that you're not here to play, okay? You're here to stay, right? Yeah, you got too much to offer. I feel a, I hear a lot of you saying I have too much to offer. Like some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all talking big stuff. Like I am the table, okay? Not bring what I bring to the table. I am the table. So what's what's good with it? You know, <laughs> what somebody said, what you have to add to me? That's what I want to know. I know that's right. Talking like you are the prize. You better, yes. And it's not being cocky. It's being confident. You have to love yourself. You have to know that what you deserve and understand that you deserve more. Look what fell off the top of the deck, okay? Coins, money will be coming to you. So I feel like um, not only are you attracting suitors, you're making a bag, Virgo. You're, you got money coming in, all right? And then we got dragon, beware of self-delusion, and then compliments from an admirer, okay? So don't, don't listen, Take everything at face value, Virgo. Everything that these people are showing you, believe them. When they're teaching you who they are and when they answering your questions, if you say, are you ready for commitment? And they say something like, um, 
I'm not really ready yet. Or they're saying something like, well, I never really thought about that. Or they're saying something like anything. If they're not saying yes, then okay, don't tell yourself it's a yes. Tell yourself that I don't know what this person is doing, so I'm not going to really take them too seriously right now. Period. All right, I hate nothing else. I I hate nothing about you. I see myself with you for the long term. L. Okay, I told y'all some of y'all are not going to be single for the winter. Mystery lover. I abandon people to make myself feel important. Wow. Okay, you can stay a mystery with that dusty energy. I'm just saying, y'all already know the vibes. Like, don't nobody have time for that. No, we don't. We don't have time for that. Let me move the cards down. All right. You can see it a little bit better. Let me see if I can get you closer, honeys. And get you a little closer. Actually, I can get you very close, but I don't like it to be too close for the for my lovies that like to zoom in. All right. So, we have um, romantic date. Um, I want things to work out. So, somebody here wants things to work out with you. Um, let me take you somewhere nice and show you, you know, show you, it says, and show you the feelings I have for you. So somebody wants to take you out. Somebody really likes you. They don't want you to just, um, forget about them or, you know, not take them seriously. Somebody really is interested in you up here. Okay. Then you got this player down here being annoying. Recharge. So somebody could be a long distance from you. I feel like you guys live in different communities or different towns okay you guys live far away from each other and i feel like somebody is exhausted somebody definitely needs to rest here i feel like your person is tired they work a lot um they're doing a lot okay a lot of people are pulling at their energy right now then we got baby mama baby daddy drama this almost fell on the floor so this person is over it i was pretending to be someone else hmm what do they mean by that right i was pretending to be somebody as someone else so this person could have been talking to you um not really exposing everything that they're going through um somebody could have been pretending to be somebody else in their past relationship and that's what broke them i don't know what they're saying let's find out why is i i was pretending to be somebody else here let's see so a card fell on the floor. Wait a minute. I don't want to put my big head in the camera. I think the world of you. So somebody likes you a lot with this countless suitors, but you're the only one I see. Somebody likes you a lot, Virgo. They really respect you. And I feel like they want to date you for the long term. You met somebody very sophisticated, very intelligent and intellectual. This is another divine energy. So you met a divine feminine or divine masculine, okay? Show me I was pretending to be someone else. What is this talking about? I'm intimidated by you. Oh, wow. So Virgo, somebody could have been pretending that they have it all together, but really you intimidate this person. Hmm. Let's see what this player is saying. Show me, um, read between the lines, please, sir. I'm not ready. Okay, so somebody is basically trying to tell you that they're not ready. Um, reading between the lines, if they're not really coming on to you hard, if they're not really opening up fully and showing you like, yeah, I'm ready. I don't want anybody else to get you. I mean, they have these feelings, but somebody here is just not ready yet. They're still healing. They are. Show me starting over. Somebody is moving out. It says moving out or moving on. I'm tired of this. You won't compromise. So I feel like somebody is on a new start. I feel like somebody could be newly single. Um, and by newly, that could be a year, you know, we've experienced, um, having to go through this healing process and this healing journey. And it's not always easy. Doesn't always happen fast. So I do feel like somebody here is on a new beginning. Finances are a problem. So somebody here might feel like they can't take care of you and give you what you deserve too. Or if this is female energy, somebody may feel like they can't match your energy. They don't want to. Um, feel like they're taken away from you. They don't want to feel like you have, they don't want you to feel like you have to take care of them, you know? So somebody wants to show you that they do stand on their own two feet. I feel like also with finances are a problem. This could be them and their living situation or their living space. This person keeps a lot of secrets. Like they don't want to expose so much to you. Like the cards are falling on the floor. That doesn't usually happen much. Um, let's see. Um, this said, so this person may have been a player. 
All right, non-committal, sweet charmer will treat you good, but plays with your heart. This says you make me want to be a better person. I feel like you're not even giving this person a, the time of day. This is somebody else lingering in your energy that is a player. Okay. Dang, 20 minutes went by. That is fast. What's a season? There is a third party. Okay. So somebody has somebody else in their energy and they didn't tell you about it. Jealous and possessive, yearning. It says, missing you, thinking about the good times. I never had someone like you. So this person, you really have intrigued this person. Let's see what Spirit wants you to do in this connection. Because we already did read a lot of what's going on with this person. What's going on in your energy. Um, surprisingly, it came out relatively quickly. You know, while we were, while we were um, beginning. So let's see. Spirit, what's the advice here for Virgo? And what do they need to know about this situation? All right says move forward it's okay to move forward in this situation you need to take charge though and set boundaries with this queen of sword energy queen of swords sets boundaries okay um she's straightforward she is caring and compassionate however do not play with her boundaries are set if you cross the line you get cut period all right so that's how you got to be in this situation male or female okay but it is okay to move forward. Somebody wants to travel towards you. Maybe somebody wants another date with you or anything like that. All right. Um, you have to stay on your ground when it comes to this person. So I can see myself with you for the long term. The chariot. I abandon people to make myself feel important. The queen of swords. Um, set boundaries right now. Okay. Think about them tonight. Whatever. What are you not going to go for in this situation? What are you going to stand for? This person needs to know clearly. I want things to work out. Oh, Knight of Cups energy. This person is going to be messaging you, um, bringing you some good news. They are thinking about you. They are. They are thinking about you. Um, the last time they saw you really touched their hearts and they are thinking about you, Virgo. Let's see what else is here. Long distance. This person is trying to clear confusion. I feel like this person has options and a lot of things going on in their life. And they're trying to figure things out. Of course, somebody here could be smoking that ooh-wee, okay, that ganja. Y'all already know the vibe. Somebody is putting it in the air, okay? <laughs> this person could smoke weed, all right? Or this is just options. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Somebody's intimidated by you. I feel like because you're beautiful um, or handsome and you're very um, sophisticated, very talented, very... Um, stable and secure self-sufficient that definitely intimidates people somebody could feel like they don't have enough to maintain somebody could be homeless okay sharing sharing a home with somebody else okay um and i feel like that may be the energy here and this is could be what's causing this person confusion Oh, I think the world of you, you got this Knight of Wands action and the recognized victory. Somebody sees you as absolutely good news. Somebody has talked to you, uh, talked about you to their friends and their friends are cheering them on. They're happy for them. They're happy that they met somebody. All right. So this person's friends, they surround themselves with like-minded vessels. They surround themselves with positive people, um, people that enlighten them, encourage them, and they do the same. Um, with this Sagittarius energy, somebody is dealing with the Sagittarius. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries, but this person is very positive, okay? And I feel like this person is going through a spiritual transformation. It's going to be some face action. This person is going to be messaging you or coming towards you, Virgo. So get ready, baby. All right? This looks good for you. What can Virgo expect from this situation, spirit? Wow, no need to be defensive, no need to be guarded. This is a new beginning. Go for it, okay? With the seven of wands in reverse, you can let your guards down with this person. It is okay to move forward. Oh my God, I like it a lot. Look at this, Virgo, emotional fulfillment, um, long-term wealth, balance. Look, yes, this is what we like. That's how I like it, baby. <laughs> All right, Virgo, I love you, love you, love you to life. This looks amazing. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason, baby. It's your time. It's your season. Just accept it. 
All right, lovies. I will be right back with another video. I love you, love you, love you. Thanks for being here with me. Um, if you want a personal reading, you know what to do. My information is down below in the description box. Email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one at gmail.com. Bye, lovies.